ladies and gentlemen. You know, I'm really glad that George Floyd's family was able to get an independent autopsy done. You know, in many cases, some people just simply can't afford it. And I certainly understand that, you know, but if you are able to get it, if your loved one is killed by the police, then it is a good thing to get it because let's face it, these county coroner officers are all in cahoots with the police and they're going to come out with an autopsy that's going to lean towards getting the cop off. That's why it is best to get a private one done, just like this family. This is Forbes, June 1st, 2020. Families autopsy finds George Floyd died by homicide caused by asphyxia. And we all saw it. You know, he was not moving. After they did that to him, he was not moving. It was very obvious he died right there on that street. A private autopsy ordered by George Floyd's family appeared to contradict details released from Hennepin County preliminary exam, concluding he died by homicide caused by asphyxia due to neck and back compression that led to the lack of blood flow to the brain. The autopsy found that sustained pressure on the right side of Floyd's choroided artery impeded blood flow to the brain and the weight on his back, handcuffs and position were contributing factors that impaired the ability of his diaphragm to function. Doctors who conducted the autopsy concluded that Floyd likely died at the scene. And I agree with that because it was very obvious he was not moving anymore. He was not responding. You didn't even see him breathing. It, he was completely still. The autopsy was conducted by Michael Baden, former New York City chief medical examiner who previously conducted an independent autopsy of Jeffrey Epstein and Dr. Alicia Wilson, the University of Michigan Medical School Director of Autopsy and Forensic Service, uh, Services. The criminal complaint against former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin who was arrested and charged with third degree murder and manslaughter last Friday, which is not the appropriate charge at all, uh, cited a preliminary autopsy report showing that there were no physical findings that support a diagnosis of tra uh, traumatic asphyxia or strangulation. While Hennepin County autopsy report found heart disease, hypertension, and potential intoxins contributing to Floyd's death, Baden claims no underlying health problems contributed. Thank you. You see how they're trying to get these cops out? Oh, well, you know, he already had a bad heart and hypertension, and he already, um, you know, had heart disease and um, he had intoxins and you see how they're trying to get the cops off. This is why you can never rely on the county to do these autopsies when there's any kind of death by cop. You see how they put that in as contributing factors of his death. And we clearly see on the video how he died. I mean, talk about really insulting our intelligence. Last year, Baden claimed that evidence suggesting Epstein did not take his own life, but may have been strangled. The family and I reject this notion that the knee from the police officer on George's neck for almost nine minutes was not the approximate cause of his death. Floyd family attorney Benjamin Crump said in a statement, more than 4,400 people have been arrested at demonstrations nationwide since the video emerged showing Floyd's 
final few minutes of life. Six days since Floyd was pronounced dead have been marked by unrest throughout the country with protest demonstrations and riots raging in more than 30 cities nationwide. And they said the protests are now in all 50 states. Yeah, that's why Trump is on the phone screaming and hollering at the governors to use force while he run his Karen ass down in a bunker. The Hallapin County Medical Examiner Office has said their official findings are pending toxicology reports and could take at least three weeks to be released. What we found is consistent with what people saw, said Baden. There is no other health issue that could cause or contribute to the death. The police have this false impression that if you can talk, you can breathe. That's not true. As of Monday afternoon, the three other officers who were involved in Floyd's arrest have not been charged. And I don't know what's taken them so damn long to charge the officers. It makes no sense. You take one in, but the the other three are still out there. No, everybody that was part of that arrest, everybody should be arrested and charged. You know, I am sick of these people always taking so long to do something. If it was somebody out in the general public that killed someone, they're going to arrest you right away. There is always some difference in cops and how they get treated when it comes down to charging them. And, you know, and these politicians are the ones that are responsible for making it difficult to charge a cop to convict a cop, your local politicians and your your politicians there in DC, they are largely responsible for that. They want their cops to be untouchable because remember their job is not to enforce the law. That's not what they're there for. And when you look at their beginnings on the plantation, they weren't there for political reasons. They weren't there to protect and serve. They had a whole other purpose. Ladies and gentlemen, please tell me what you think about this latest news on the autopsy of George Floyd. May he rest in peace. His funeral will be held in Houston this coming Saturday. And I I read an article earlier that the Houston police has offered to escort the family and George's body on Saturday. I don't know if they ever took him up on it or not. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.